Hello, Internet. I get I get messages on YouTube. I get messages on Facebook. I get emails, and they say, Hey, Beth Hutchison, how do you do that trick? I just don't know how. And I said, I try and type it out. I can't explain a trick. I mean, you got to do a tutorial. So, welcome to Biff Hutchison's full front flip tutorial. Brief history of the full front flip. Daniel Mahoney was the first person to do a full front flip. He did it way back in the day on a Flyboy 800. I think he did it into some mud or something, it looked like. And, uh... A lot of people do full front flips. It's not that cool. It's not that imp like difficult of a trick. Fred Grzbowski was doing them way back in the day. Jake Gartland did it on ice. Jake Fallon did a front flip. Tone Stobbs does front flips but not back flips. So obviously, the front flip is a very, very easy trick. For the full front flip, you're going to need five things that you can apply for any pogo trick. Number one. You're going to need the balls to do it. You need to go out there, and you need to do it. Two, you need some height. You can't be doing a full front flip on the ground. You need to get in, you need to get some air. Three, you need some skill. You can't go from jumping on your little dinky kiddo pogo stick to rolling with the big boys throwing full fronts. It doesn't work that way. Four, you need the persistence. You're probably not going to land this first try. You might fall. You're gonna, you might want to give up. Don't. Persistence. you got to go out there, and you got to keep trying. You gotta just do what you need to do, and you need to land it. Five, you need to be committed. You need to go, you need to not bail, be committed the entire trick, and you'll land it. So, uh, before you go straight into doing your uh, full front flips, you're obviously gonna need some stuff. First off, the skill, obviously, you're gonna need to know how to pogo. You need to know how to do, like, do your basic tricks, you know. Do some front flip dismounts. If you don't know how to do that, if you really don't, uh, just comment and I'll make a tutorial, but uh, they're pretty easy. You could do it on a trampoline pogo, as I'll show you in a minute. Do it onto mats or foam pit, water, grass at the least, and wear a helmet when you first do this. Wear a helmet whenever you pogo, because it protects your brain. I said to try it onto a tramp, on tramp pogo. If you don't have a tramp pogo, they're really easy to make. I'm not really going to go in depth, it's just a focus to get these on the trail. Um, what you're going to do is just jump on it, get the feel for it. You're going to throw your torso up with your head, throw, your, throw this down as hard as you can, and that will bring you around. Pretty simple. So yeah, just head down. If you want, there's multiple ways to do this. Bent over like a Jay Gartland style. You can tuck, that feels good. I prefer doing a bent over, I think you get a lot more control, but do whatever feels good. And when you're getting ready to do this on the pogo stick for real, you're gonna want to do a couple of setup bounces. I have a board set up here, I'm gonna pogo on. You're going to want to take, just get some steady bounces in. Be going three, four, five feet, whatever feels good. Just not extremely low. You want to take like a six, six, seven foot setup bounce. This will give you forward, forward momentum that you will then transfer into the flip. I was jumping pretty steadily here, and I took a setup bounce right here. I threw my torso down, and that's pretty much it. What you're gonna want to do when you throw your torso down, that'll throw you in the flip. If you keep your feet on the pegs, you're gonna get around and land it. If you can grip it with your knees, that'll help. Um, yeah. Pretty much it. Now a front flip is a really good trick to know how to do. 
It's a really good trick to just pull out if you're poking with a group of friends or in front of people. It's an easy trick, and if you get it consistent, it's consistently impressive. You can front flip out of pretty much any trick, and if you're too scared to do a trick down a stair set or over a gap, front flip it.